Hello guys and welcome to another Profile 3 Wix YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can pin elements to your Wix website. So yes, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, right in front of us we've got a website going on. I'll just delete a couple of these out. Yep. So, um, yes, as you can see we've got a website in front of us and what we're going to do is do a couple of modifications to pin some elements so we'll go ahead and do that so here we are um, if I uh, well we'll do our first one so say if we never had a header what you could do on on that especially if you're creating a e-commerce website uh, or you want to maybe show just the logo and nothing else uh, you can do so by okay so we'll just move that up okay so it's as easy as clicking on this and you can just right click it okay and then pin that to screen and you can just move that element about anywhere on the screen but I'm just going to choose to keep it on the right side, top right so I'll go ahead and exit out of that and then same goes for this one if I wanted to pin that as well it's just uh, clicking right click, pin the screen and I can keep it pinned there so yeah, happy enough with that and let's just say I didn't want to have this horizontal menu. So how can I go about creating a pinned horizontal menu uh, item So or element? So way to do that, we'll just delete this away. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add an element. Go to decorative. Doesn't matter what one you pick out of here. You pick anything you want. You can choose any of these arrows if you want. But I'm literally just going to click, drag and drop and see if we can find the middle here. Okay, there you go. So, if you have this vector art here and you want to get the menu item or like a hamburger menu, it's as easy as just clicking on change basic shape. We'll do so and then we're going to search up for a hamburger menu we want to make sure that's within vector art and not the basic shapes I think that's right yep okay we'll click on hamburger menu okay so maybe it is on the basic shape sorry apologies on that okay so there you go there's a list of different options for the menus that you can pick I'm just gonna go for something that would tie into the website so I'm just gonna go and pick the maybe this one I'll pick this one because it's got this sort of look to it okay so once you've got that going I'm just gonna increase that height a little bit the size of that and uh, leave it like that now of course if you don't want it to be pinned here and you want it to pin there it's as easy as just clicking on this one pinning that to the center instead and then the one behind it the vector art if I right click on that I can pin that to screen but pin that to the left side so there you go so that's an easy way to change the layout a little bit as well now what we want to do is as we want to have this as a working pinned menu item um, we're going to be using a trick with the light box so we're going to go ahead and add an element now light box should be somewhere here so light box all right cool so we've got that and literally you can just pick whatever you want so just as long as it's close to what we're needing. Uh, let's just say maybe we can pick this one. Go ahead and pick that one. 
Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete these as we don't need them. Keep the X, of course. Change the overlay of that. And nope, we don't want to delete that. Change the overlay of this. Happy enough with that. Manage the light box. Okay. I'll position it there. Okay, so what colors are we dealing with here? Okay, we'll just turn that. Okay, and then I've shown a tutorial as well on how to, to use the light boxes. So if you want to have a look at them, it in our YouTube channel or I'll link it down in the description below so let's see here okay if you guys give me a second I'll be right back and I'll just get the menu item set up okay guys back again I've just got everything set up uh, of course you could just modify it and make it look nice to how you want it but for this very specific tutorial, we're just trying to teach you how to use the pinned um, the pin feature. So I'm happy enough with that. We'll go ahead and preview it. So now there's technically no header. Um, so as you could see, these elements are pinned. Um, if I go back to editor what way can I show you this as well just so it's not on the header uh, scroll settings okay so we'll have it so it um, fades out okay we'll just say it fades out and let's just say that on this strip there's a background image Something to do with Bitcoin, I don't know, maybe. Okay, we'll just we'll just do something like this. Just so you guys can see. Uh, is it the whole strip? Seems to be. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to cut this as short as I can for this tutorial. So as you can see, um, okay, it's not really the best uh, option that I picked, but from the background, if you could see that, we've got a, well, I should just change that to another color, just so it's easier to see. Go for a lighter one. Did it change it? Okay, so that's that area change. We'll just go back and revert it to that. Okay, so as you can see, there's like, um, we've got Bitcoin at the back, sort of like a coin uh, background. Now, I know that this is attached to the header, as you can see. So if you connect that to any other page, you'll still see the same one, but now if we go to home and then we'll go ahead and preview that now what should happen is that the background of the header should disappear and on top of that my menu item and my thing, uh, my logo and my register button should still say that stay the same so as you can see it's moving with the site there you go and it's not leaving, as you can see, no background. Now, if I go back to editor, okay, as you can see, it moves with the site. So let's just say I didn't have this. Um, let's say that my header scroll settings disappears or scrolls with the site. We'll do with scroll with the site. So. 
That means that background will just disappear instantly, hopefully. There you go. And I'll show you what will happen if I unpin th this item. So unpin that element. Okay, and I'll go ahead and preview it. So what should happen is our menu and our register will stay, um, will stay, as you can see. So there's a load of different things that you can do uh, with this feature, and it's pretty much endless. And I think it's a great little tool just to be able to just pin an element to where you want it to be. And as I showed in another video as well, uh, an in-page menu, if you want to go check that, that out as well. So yes, um, that should wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.